bent. They were doing some cleaning up down to the co-op. Decided to get up early in the morning and go down there. Got me some shelving. Look at them shelves. He's trying to buy you some plywood right now. A couple of pallets. Oh, one of them jacks. I can always use that. Not sure what for. A little bar, but here, let's get to the good stuff. There's one of them old tire patchers. Yeah, might need it. We got us a semi-working floor jack. Cheaper than Harbor Freight. Can't beat that. But wait. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Some more garbage to goodness. Well, it's missing a few pieces. And probably need some seals. Maybe some welding. I don't know. But here's a trick. I gotta get this booger out to, off the trailer and into my garage. Might have to just unhook the trailer and let it flip up. Let it slide off of there. That'll work. This fella's garage is full of garbage, so, you know, there is that. But hey, we got a tire machine. But I'm trying to ease it up with this here bar. I'm gonna keep, gonna keep running the handle into the roof. I'm gonna pull it back up again. I'm gonna mess around and it's gonna fall off sideways. Well, that plan worked perfectly. Okay, well, it's only 1,200 pounds. Surely I can get it up. Damn it. Well, see, as, as always, your order of operations is important. So buy your cherry picker first before you start accumulating the other junk. I'm gonna use this and let's just be heavy bugger back up. I mean, I normally would just break my back, but this is too much for me even. Okay, we got her strapped on. Let's give her a little bit of, oh no, it's stuck, what? Hold on, oh, wrong one. Yeah, let's jack it up now. Hope I turned that tight last time. Yeah, did. Okay, let's go. Everything good? I can get it snagged underneath it. I haven't really thought this out yet. Might need to get something to brace this up when my lift is extended. Hey, I got some tiles right there. Stack them under there, it'd be fine. All right, well, let me finish hoisting this up and I'll get it stood up and come back. We got her up quite a bit. I'm gonna put a, something under it and tighten my chain up a little more. I'll get this booger all the way over. It's pretty close now. If I braced it, I could probably push it back, but I've been using it to scooch it in the garage when I'm going. Almost there. All I had to do was give her a little push. She's ready to go to the floor. Maybe I'll just release it now. Yeah, I think that'll get it inside the door. I'll figure the rest out later. I got shelves to build. So bring her down nice and easy. Oh, nice and easy. Easy. What? Easier than that, yeah, whoop, yeah. There she goes. All right, just get her under here. Put my chain off and I've got her in the garage. Nice, all right. Well, let's give this the once over. Look, look, look here, the maintenance. You got a maintenance list. So daily, you wanna check the tire pressure gauge accuracy and it gives you a part number. Clip on air check. I don't have one. Yeah, I do have one. It's not that one. Pressure limiter operation. That's probably something you don't need on this machine. But check it weekly. Mount and dismount roller. Hmm. I reckon, is that that what that, what that is? Probably, probably fine. It's just got a, a kink line here and there. It'd be all right. 
and uh, mount, demount, head, and lock plate adjustment. Well, that got disappeared. I might have to build one of those. Mm. Oh no, rim clamp claws, wire brush serrations. I guess that'll be there. Uh, check and clean all safety decals, not decals. What the hell is wrong with you people? Shut off air and bleed system. Check oil level for lubrication injector. Lubricator injector at window to the left. To the left of what? Uh, this ain't got no windows. All right, well, there's that. We got all this here. And that right there. I'm gonna have to get me some square tubing. Built me one of those. Missing some screws. Good, I can see in here. Oh, what's that? There's extra parts of floating around in there. Nope. I guess that's supposed to be there. Oh, there's a little knob in there. A couple of them. What are they doing in there? Aren't they supposed to be over on that end? They are. Hell, and then we got something floating around there. Probably need to hook that up. All right, well, I'm gonna, I bet you I can find a manual on this somewhere on the old interwebs. Yeah, yeah they kicked that off inside. It was probably having some troubles. Danger. Explosion hazard. Perfect. Well, now that I got somewhere to set my coffee, let's, let's get this jack out of here and see if it's got any life left in it. Guess this is a three and a half ton. Heavy duty. One of them kind of jacks. And I was told it's got two cylinders. Let's flip it over here and look. Nope, it's only got one. Well, dog, oh, my pussy cat. Yeah, it might have been fine. Some old crackhead threw it in the trash. I'm going to take it out and try it out. Oh, got it out of there. Nice and gentle like. Drag this over here. See if it'll jack up the car. Oh, I can't get it. It doesn't move on the gravel. Maybe that's why they throw it away. Come on, spin around there. A little more. Spin it around. Come on, go, go. Yeah. All right. Get up there. We got any life left in here? Nope. <laughs> but you know what? River seal there. Very expensive. I can fix that, I imagine. My other one's so old, I can't find parts for it. So that one's not that old. There you go. Nice big old screw bin, nail bin, whatever. Picked up one of these dudes too. You know, they took my dividers out. I'd like to build some of those. I'll go in there and see if the ice tray will fit in there. That'll work. Look here. Better built them a floor. That's right. And uh, one shovel of your Portland cement and seven shovels of your dirt. Just get it wet, throw it in a hole. You might want something like that to mix it with. But yeah, you're going to put the hours in doing it. This is a 12 by 18. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got... 25 hours of mixing cement and pouring it. But look at here now. My shop's closed in. Got my sun winders. Got my walls. And the junk just overflows, just coming right in here. All right, I'm gonna get me some shelves up. I'm gonna get me some tables built. Toolboxes sorted out. Probably put me a little sitting area over here, maybe. I don't know. 
I don't like chairs out here. People need to be working in my shop, not sitting. Except my wife. She likes to sit out here with me and have shop talk. And that's good stuff, guys. Well, some of you guys have probably put these together before. I do not know. Might be missed a few pieces. I need maybe a few more of those. I'm not sure about what goes on with that bigger shelf. How it connects. Apparently these you can slide two in. So I've got four shelves that I can put on this section. Then I can I got four more shelves. I think I'll just put them side by side and mount this thing to the wall. Just be done with it. And that'll take care of my shelving needs. Probably somebody out there knows how that goes on. Or if it goes there, I don't know. It doesn't slip in there. I don't know. There you go. That's going to make some nice shelves. Kind of got it put together. Whatever else I need to do, I'll move it around where I want it, and then I'm going to make it work. All right. Nice. Hey, well, we got the old tire machine inside. Sit them down here. We were missing a couple of pieces. Missing one of the air valves back over in the corner there. That's only another hundred dollars. And the air motor was laying down here, so I'm gonna have to get in here and test everything. I can I can tell the table turns by pulling that, so that's good. But I'll get on here and hook some air up and make sure that the uh the clamps clamp and unclamp and and that the uh, bead breaker on the other side works. Probably have to rebuild that. No idea. No idea. But I'm gonna have to get a new valve. I got some cheapo ones, which is probably what I'll get, and then I'll make it work. The worst part is missing that vertical slide bar that actually does the dismounting of the tires, and that's Pretty darn expensive. So I'll be making one of those. Okay, we get a little scraping in there. Got her cleaned up. Look over there. This is a foot valve here. It's got a rod that comes in and the shaft goes all the way through. It's got two notches in that shaft. And then <clears throat> when it slides back and forth, it takes the air from the bottom and it directs it to which we're one of these lines here. So if it goes forward, I don't know, just guessing it goes, pushes the air up this line and this line returns it and exhausts it. And if you shift it the other way, it reverses. So the air would go in this way and it would exhaust out this side. If you don't have an intake and exhaust, then that cylinder can't go back and forth. It'll lock up. If you have a exhaust line that's capped off or plugged or the air won't be able to push through so it has to have both intake and exhaust anyway so there should be three of those and there's only two i'm going to do a little more taking apart and cleaning up figure out how i'm going to work that out and then we've got these two cylinders to look over there's a cylinder here and a cylinder here much bigger so this one controls the clamps and this one, the bead breaker. And those have multiple seals inside and what we can call a piston that the air will push against and push that rod out. So we gotta check those. We gotta check this air motor right here. Make sure it's working. Check those two valves and get another valve and then I can build my bar and hopefully we'll have a working tire machine. What kind of an entanglement? Yes, and that's a What? What? Nope. Leave me alone. Back. Back. 
Well, trying to buy me some parts for my tire machine. And, and of course that brought me back out here to Joe's. Some nice looking uh, beauty rings right there. And the problem here is that I don't know where to look. Don't see him yet, but he's got more cars. I'm gonna look at what we got here. 98, that must be an Oldsmobile. That's a good looking ring. I like that. Yeah, look at that grill. He wants to chew on something. This car's tight. It ain't all laid up. It's got hubcaps on it. It was a full size caps, it's not the poverty caps. And it's got a key. Well, I bet I might drive this home. I wonder what I could trade him for this. Big fat tail lights. Look at that. But these little feathers here, and then you're exhausted right there. You, you run it right in there. Huh. That's a good looking car. Good looking car. And it's got an interior in it. Look at that. That's almost perfect, probably until a fella sits on it. All right, we got things to do. Let's look at some more stuff. Looks like you have one of their four two door hard tops, too. It has a motor in it. Oh, it does. Look at there. Overhead valves. And it's got the V8 because, you know, it says V8 right there. It's a crest line. Lots of chrome around the glass. Oh, it's got an interior, too. Is that got a spotlight on the mirror? <clears throat> and the door opens. Because it doesn't lag. Oh, there's no key in this one. Just headed for the crusher. Yep. That room around there. Nice. More big fat tail lights. It doesn't have the fancy bumper like the old's over there, but I mean, it would probably go down the road. Oh, wait. Not only does it not have a key, it's got a hole in it. So, yeah, just had it for, is them slot wheels? Oh, I need that. I need a pair of those, but that's for a Ford. Wait, it's got universals. Oh, I'm that baby. If that's here tonight, that baby is mine. I'm bullshitting. I don't do that. It's too cold. Can't see in the dark. There's another one. I've looked at this before, but it didn't look as good until I saw that two door over there. And that's not noticing that exhaust hole right there. And then of course, there's this one. We've looked at it before, I think. Yeah, it's not as good as that other. That other is pretty sweet. Well, this one's got some interior left in it too. It's good enough for the filler to put some duct tape on it. Oh yeah, that's fine. Two, three rows. It'd be good. No. No, that's roadworthy. What have we got down there? Let's go look at that here in a second. I come out here for some parts, not this car stuff. But I've got to see that too. Well, you know, just to show that I don't know everything. It looked like a Pontiac from way back there, and I'm closer, more like a Mercury. Which one is it? Oh, camera's all over. Let's go see. You just start back here. Oh yeah. Lincoln Mercury. Good deal. 
Look at the wheels. How many of those has it got? It's got two of them. Got the racing vents. There you go. That lets the air escape the car, creates the vacuum, makes it obviously travel down the road faster. Some pretty good interior. Well, let's look at this dash. Looks like your basic Ford dash. Really? Oh, someone's gobbled up into the radio area. That's good. That makes it. It's easier to fine tune the radio when you do that. Where's the key? It's gone. There's no key. Okay. Well, carpet's dirty. And it's missing. No, they're both there. At the top and bottom of the back seat and got some engine parts in the trunk. That's good. So serious, they're getting serious about their dime and tucking. That's nice. This is not bad. This is not bad. It's pretty good shape. I'm going to tighten that fender up so it don't make that popping sound. Bumper fell off. Not unusual for a Ford. And we're missing some chunks on the front. But I guess if he was pushing round bales, that'd be fine. Oh, well, there's three. There's three. We got a we got a black one there, but wait. Number four is hiding me in the car. That's got the full set. Well, wonder if we got a motor in it. Let me get Worski down here and check this thing and see if it's stuck or not. Well, it's not open, so it it needs some lubey do. Oh, I think it's. Oh, it wants to open. It does, and look. Ford power. Mm -hmm. 429. Okay, guys. That's, that's all you got to say, because I'm a Chevy guy, but when I say 429, that even makes my, my heart go pitter-patter. Dang. That booger there would go down the highway. Well, that one there has moved since I was last here. I tried to make a nice, you know, Savage Yard video, but the wind was going so strong I couldn't hear nothing. I got so annoyed I couldn't even edit the video. He's moved this. This needs to get right over to my house because it's just not doing any good sitting here. Find me a late model and a shove underneath it. And it hardly needs any parts. And it, it's got some of the floor left. Well, in a place or two. Is that part of the back seat? Oh, it's rare, rare. I don't care. I would have to hammer some dents and weld some holes and. Just love this forever. There's the most important part. That little snout. I don't know, of all the Tri-5s, it just kind of got me a fondness of the 55. I know they're not that different. But I just like them. Well, it's got enough pieces a fella could drag it on a trailer, maybe. I bet Joe would lift it up for me if we could find something to trade for and it can't be my Chevelle I put too much work in it now it does need a hood huh well it's not any worse than my 58 it's got a tailgate well you know 98% 75% of a tailgate no glass. Wait, there's one. There's one door that's got glass in it. And there's a wing on the other side. That's the big money right there. Door handle. That's good. Got the signal lights. No lenses or, you know, anything like that. Missing the headlight bezels. Oh. Guys, stop. 
and you kids quit breaking glass. My God, ain't you got an Xbox or something you could sit home and play with? I kind of need this. There's that one over there. I tried to shoot it too, and it didn't work out. To get through this garbage hole. It's a Mort Ski Classic. I want that. That would look good on this big pipe. Let's go over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. A pudding might need a new tow truck. That one's got the sunroof. It ain't playing. You can open that up and stick a tire or two right in there. There she is. Oh, look at that. That's all the trim a guy would need on a Bel Air wagon you'd have to weld some of it together and cut some of it but it it worked yeah i'm missing the hood on this one that's the way she goes once again we got a grill got the good stuff oh headlight bezel yeah is that it is that's some of them locking pliers got a ring on it. I don't know why. You maybe you put one of them jack handles that spins on it and twist it up. To really tighten your rafter. I mean, adjustable pliers that way. Well, some of that chrome might need hammered on a little bit, but it looks like it's got a lot of it. I really need both of these. Because I can do a two-door conversion on this one and just build that other one. Deck lid. Ooh. All the little guys are gone. I like them little Bel Air, Bel Air emblems on the back of the quarter. Get them put on my coffee cup. All right, let's get back. I'm still looking for that square bar. I ain't found it nowhere. I bet he's got some. Walk right by this. Now it's not a hole bender, but look. Look at that right there. There's about a hundred of you right now saying, oh, I need that at my house because I could replace that rust. That's a good one too. Luckily it got wrecked, didn't get a chance to get no mud in there. Rust it out. But that has not been cut in half. Oh, radiator support there, Dan. Don't mark ski it's off limits because he'll cut that sucker sure as anything. Well, there's another one. It's a little narrow. That's a mark ski speed fork right there. God, I need four of those. I'd put them on anything I drove. I need some. I got a pair, but I need some that don't have all the chrome coming off. Is that another Olds? Oh, it's the 88. It's not the 90. It's got less chrome. Let's check this out. Who needs that roof? Probably kicked out. Flip it over and put it on some blocks and then just get your kids in there and say, reverse all that damage them other kids put to it. Why? Why, people? Somebody's dropped something on this, like a car. I don't know. Oh, it's got a nice dash and a radio. Look at that. You show a big old speaker in there. Put you one out of them particle board and shove it up behind there and put your boomer in there. Heck yeah. Ooh. We got it. Looks like all the handles are on that side. And all the handles are on this side. That's a plus. Got a back glass in it. Got side glasses in the back, but one of them cracked. This one's broke out. You can tell by the way it's broke. I'm gonna go the other side. A little fender needs a little love and affection. We're missing some stuff on the front. Gonna leave some weight relief when they put this out on the drag strip. And Something's happened here. Yeah, good car. Well, 
went out there and talked to Joe. And he doesn't know of any square bar he's got, but his brother might have some. So I'm gonna go check that out. We got to talking about that Mercury. And that's got the 429 Cobra Jet. I'm thinking, I don't know if it's a 69 or 70, I think the Cobra Jet, they only had the two years, 69, 70, and then the Super Cobra Jet, 71, they put that in the Mach 1. But I tell you, them are some beast motors. Ah, you don't want to drive that fast. But you would, because you can. All right. So we'll go back out there and look at some more than 55s and 6s and 7s. Somehow I'm going to have to get me one. I miss having one. I gotta finish that 58 and sell it so I can have a 55. Well, we made it back home. Got all the shop dogs out here. And, you know, when you rebuild your air compressor, probably a good idea not to leave it right where the roof leaks all the rain off gets water inside your motor and then you turn it on in the freezing temperatures it's, it starts not doing compressing things so i'm gonna have to fix that now what are you what are you doing why why are you over there Huh. We got these, uh, this one and this one over here. They were roaming the streets and nobody was hitting them because somebody dumped them. Then somebody hit their little brother who's brown, who hates me for saving him. So I got my shop cleaned out and now I've lost my shop. I was trying to get this ready for Morton in case he lost his shop. Now I've got more shop dogs. Well, I've got some new parts coming. I'm gonna work on this. And getting the shop put together. Found my old motor and I got it to working. So maybe we can get back in business with some air. We'll get into this stuff next time. Look how dainty that is. They don't show you that in your, you know, on the interweb when you go to buy it. Probably all these fittings are going to be wrong. But we're going to try to make this tire machine go. And the next time somebody wants to throw this slider away, that's $500. All the parts. So that stupid little washer that goes on top is over 100 bucks. That spring's 25, that bar in there, 350. And then you've got the little dude down at the bottom, 70 bucks. Yeah, don't throw it away. And there's also the slide lock. I haven't even got into that yet. Ugh. Probably gonna make one. <sighs> well, let's see how this works out. Guys, I'm gonna close this one up, get something posted up on the old YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy some of this, get something out of it, and uh, next time we'll see if we can put this together. Maybe we'll break a tire down or cry because we don't have that $500 slider bar. All right, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas and all that. It's right around the corner. And hope you stick with me. We'll get back on some car stuff here too. Going back out there to look at some more cars at Joe's. And we'll see you next time. Well, hi, buddies. 